Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Solo Learn. Um, introduction to C++. This will be our uh, second tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my courses. I'm going to go back to C++. And uh, <coughs> we just completed um, Hello World, so now we're going to go to Getting the Tools. And um, cool, so I'm going to click Basic Concepts and Getting the Tools. And so in order to get this to work, guys, you need both of the following components. You need an IDE or a text editor. I'm going to be using Sublime Text. I'm also pretty familiar with Visual Studio Code, um, and I've used Visual Studio. I use Visual Studio 2015 at work, um, as well as, um, you know, I guess you could just use something like you know, Notepad++, whatever. Uh, you also need a compiler uh, because uh, C++ is a compiled language. Um, so the one that... Since I have a Mac, I'm going to be using the, um, you know, GN, uh, the GCC compiler. Again, I'm very brand new to this, so I probably don't know what I'm talking about that much. But you do need a compiler, and I'm going to show you how I got mine to work. Uh, it looks like with a Mac, with the Mac OS, the operating system, uh, the compiler does come uh, if you have Xcode. So if you don't have Xcode, you're going to need to install that. But uh, you'll always be able to check if you have the compiler um, in your terminal. If you uh, if you type GCC dash version, and um, that will return to you uh, what version you have, etc., and where it's located, the installed directory. All right, cool. So um, version ver various uh, C++ IDEs and compilers are available. We use a free tool called CodeBlock, so you can follow them along or follow that. But I'm going to show you what I did to get mine working. So what two options do you need to run, uh, to write and run C++ programs? So you need an IDE, an in, um, inter integrated development environment, and you also need, need a compiler to compile uh, the language into intermediary language, which will uh, be executed. Awesome. So getting the tools uh, to create a project, open code block and click uh, create new project. So I'm going to walk you guys along how to do this. Uh, so if you have this, you can go ahead and create a console, app console application. So if you're familiar with Visual Studio, this will provide you with a lot of IntelliSense, so smart typing. Um, but again, you know, you can follow this along, but we are just going to do, do it with uh, Sublime Text. And this is just giving you the basic uh, Hello World program. So I'm going to set that up for you guys in just a second. So which of the following is a C++ compiler? That would be the GNU GCC. Awesome. Um, Cool guys, so let's, now that we got that down, let me show you guys actually how to set it up. So I'm gonna open up my terminal again, and I'm gonna change directory into my desktop, and I'm gonna make a directory called hello world uh, C++, and I'm gonna change directory into there. I know, not the best name. I'm gonna touch a file in here called, um, it's going to be, let's see, let me see what I wanna call it. We are going to call it, uh, hello world.cpp because that's what I had before. I'm going to go ahead and open hello world.cpp. And again, you can sort of see it opening up Xcode for us. It's firing it up. So let's wait till that runs. Again, you can you can actually do it in Sublime. I'm going to show you guys. Here it is in Xcode. And so we can start typing our program. So it sort of gives us this smart um, IntelliSense, which is pretty awesome. So we'll say include IO stream and uh, using um, standard uh, or sorry using namespace standard um, for the standard name namespace and then finally we want to create our program so in order to do that we will say um, int main and then we will create our function right here let me just make it a little bit bigger for you guys see if I can um, do, do, do. See if I can make it a little bit bigger. Preferences, fonts, colors, and fonts. And then let me bring it back up a little bit, see if I can do that. No? Alright, let me open this in Sublime so we can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to do Sublime and uh, show you guys what we have. So we have include the IO stream because we're going to be writing to the stream. We're using the namespace standard. 
One thing that you probably aren't going to get with Sublime, uh, well, I guess we have C++, so we might get some IntelliSense. Um, so what we're going to what we're going to want to do at the end is just return zero. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to write to our stream like we've done before. So we're going to say uh, count, and we're going to write uh, hello world, and uh, that's about it. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything real quick. So let me go back. Int main count dash hello world, and we're returning zero. Okay, cool. So once you have your program configured like that, guys, uh, what we're going to do now is we need to compile it. So the way we can do this is we can, um, the command we're going to do is uh, G++, which means compile, and then the name of the file. So we're going to say G++ hello world dot CPP. We're going to run this. Okay, cool. So now you'll notice in our folder we have an out, which is, stands for output, as well as our file that hasn't been compiled. So now we can actually run our file by doing um, this command right here, which is, let me bring it back. It's going to be dot slash, so in the same directory, and then the name of it, a dot out. So we're going to run that, a dot out, and we get hello world, just to prove to you that this is indeed working. Hello world, this is our first C++ program. And uh, we can run it again. Hello, or sorry, we got to compile it again. That's kind of frustrating. So let's, comp let's compile it again, and let's list out, and we'll do um, a dot out, run it again. Hello world, this is our first C++ program. Cool, guys. So kind of a bit more involved setup if you don't have uh, an IDE, but I think it's very important to know how to do this, um, you know, sort of the more brute way, just so you know what's going on underneath the hood. Um, but yeah, guys, that was part two in Solo Learn Introduction to C++. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and uh, please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks, guys, for watching, and have a great day. Take care.